We continue an I-Team investigation of new autopsy findings in the controversial death of a St. Augustine woman, Michelle O'Connell. The case has drawn national attention in a long-running debate over whether her death was a suicide, which the initial autopsy concluded, or a homicide. Along with our partner, Crime Watch Daily, we brought you the findings from the second autopsy that shows O'Connell had trauma to her face, including a broken jaw. Channel 4 Scott Johnson has been gathering new details and is joining us with what he's learned. Scott? Well, Tom, what I've learned is the family of Michelle O'Connell has filed a complaint with the State Medical Examiner's Commission, which is based in Polk County. I talked to that office today, and they tell me they are looking into what they call the complaint. They will have to review it, and these new forensic and dental autopsies may show homicide instead of suicide. I first told you around the beginning of the year that Michelle O'Connell's family was exhuming her body for another autopsy. That is now complete, and the independent forensic pathologist out of Central Florida, the O'Connell family hired along with two forensic dentists, found blunt force trauma to her jawbone that they say would have happened before she was shot. Along with our partner Crime Watch Daily, we brought you that interview with the forensic pathologist, Dr. Bill Anderson, who says something happened to Michelle before she was shot. I believe that the injury patterns that we see are inconsistent with the individual, a simple intraoral gunshot wound. We have external trauma. We have significant trauma unrelated to the wound itself. And that means that someone else was involved. Since this came out, St. John's County Sheriff David Shore, who has for years stood by the initial findings that this was a suicide, penned a lengthy and scathing letter saying, the information presented today is nothing new and all was reviewed during the initial autopsy. Molesting Michelle from her place of rest using some freelance type approach is beyond unconventional. It was reprehensible. I'm, I'm supercharged. I'm ready because I know we have what, if they would have exhumed Michelle right when they wanted to, those two state um, investigators wanted to exhume Michelle, we wouldn't have gone through this, you know, awful hard times. And, um, but it's good to know that you never give up. My daughter um, Jennifer said, no matter what, Mom, you never give up. And that was her mother, and the family's lawyer tells me the next step after this autopsy is reviewed by the State Medical Examiner Board is to have the governor's office get involved, and they hope reopen the case. The family wants another special prosecutor appointed. If that happens, it would be the third one. The first two found insufficient evidence for a homicide prosecution after three medical examiners ruled Michelle's death a suicide. I have also talked with St. John's County Legal Counsel about this. They tell me the medical examiner who did that original autopsy will review these findings and have a possible response tonight or tomorrow morning.